Okay, there are many benefits to a green building. Uh, the most obvious one is, of which is that um, it can substantially reduce the cost of operating a building, uh, perhaps as much as by as much as 50 percent. So there's a great benefit to owners. Uh, green buildings also increase the health and productivity of the occupants be because they emphasize uh, good indoor air quality and good environmental quality. For example, good lighting and daylighting is pretty much a hallmark of green buildings. And then there's the other benefits, for example, to a company or to an organization which adopts green building, which is the fact of actually being an advanced thinking organization uh, and actually doing, doing the right thing for the future. So that gets uh, the organization a lot of positive benefits uh, re with respect to society. Rinker Hall was the first green building at the University of Florida. It was completed in 2002 and occupied in 2003. It re it's a gold lead building, so it's, uh, mm -hmm. a, a, it's very, very uh, well certified in terms of its level of achievement. now have actually a second gold building on campus, which is Library West, which also achieved the gold standard. And as a consequence of the success of, of doing this, uh, the university now requires that all buildings on campus be LEED certified to at least the gold level. really good news um, that occurred a, a few months ago was that the Heavener football complex over in the stadium area is a platinum building which is the highest level of achievement at all and as a consequence of doing that there's even some consideration now of making all buildings on campus uh, platinum certified buildings. Initially, uh, there's a strong possibility that it's going to cost more. So the green buildings typically cost anywhere from, say, 2% to 10% more than conventional construction. However, if one looks at the, the savings that are uh, accrued over the lifetime of the building, uh, generally those, that, that additional upfront cost is paid off very, very quickly. Uh, so that's, that's probably the, the, the biggest problem with green buildings. The other problem is one that's being remedied as we go along in time with respect to people learning more about what, what it means and how to accomplish it. So project teams nowadays, for example, are far more uh, knowledgeable about green buildings and the rules of the game uh, compared to, for example, 10 years ago when some of the first green buildings were uh, created at the University of Florida.